Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, let's do a random ranking. Let's go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video and if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. All right, um, I think I'm going to hit up some obscure places in the collection, like over in this area. And then, let's see, you know what, maybe we'll find something over here, and then maybe down low in this section. Okay, here I am. All right, what did we grab? Oh... Wait, wait, is this the right one? Let me think. I gotta think about this to make sure I got the right movie here. Okay, yes, okay. For a second I was like, I don't know. All right, so, um, first we have District 9, nominated for Best Picture in 2000, it was a 2009 Best Picture nominee, and hey, that's cool, District 9, 2009. I think I got the year right. Yeah. I don't know if that's ever, if I've ever made that connection before. Cool. Um, but that was a great year for sci-fi because we had this, we had Avatar, we had um, uh, Star Trek came out, you know, the first Chris Pine Star Trek. That was good. I kind of wanted that movie to also be nominated for Best Picture. I'm trying to think, I think, is that also the same year that everything, nope. Uh, is that also the same year that Extra Loud and Incredibly Loud and Incredibly Close? What's that movie called? Sandra Bullock, Tom Hanks. Um, incredibly Loud and incre in Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. I think that was the year. I think that was also nominated that year. And if I'm right, I would have taken that one out, kicked it to the side over here and then brought in Star Trek and had three sci-fi movies nominated. I think that would have been good because I thought Star Trek was good enough to, to do that. Anyway, this is really good because it's like a, like, a, like an indie film, right? Isn't this an indie film or low budget anyway? Maybe a low budget studio. I don't, I don't think it was studio. It says TriStar here, but maybe that's just distribution. Um, Neil Blomkamp, but the effects, well, I guess what I'm getting at is the effects are very good for what I remember the budget being, like it was a lower budget science fiction movie and it looked better than a lot of the bloated budgets, right? Um, but yeah, very good. I need to rewatch this, it's actually been a while since I've seen it. Um, next we have X-Men, X-Men saves the day, saves the day. So actually what I was just singing right there was not the scuba da dee dee dee. That's the one we grew up with in the, in the 90s, right? But there was a pilot called The Pride of the X Men, um, where for some reason uh, Wolverine was Australian. What? I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it never got picked up or anything. They just like made this pilot cartoon, and that was the theme song for it. I wish that cartoon would have made it, but if it didn't make it, Maybe we wouldn't have had the 90s one, and I love the 90s one, up until they changed the animators, and then everything looks kind of bad, and we had different voices for some of the uh, characters. Like, I think Gambit's voice changed, maybe a few others. But anyway, I'm talking about the animated stuff. I should be talking about this movie here. Um, came out in 2000. This was a dream come true, seeing this movie. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that... Look at that. That is shiny. This is just a mirror. That's just a mirror. That's just a mirror right there. You see that? Um, I mean, this, this was a dream come true. Loved, loved the animated cartoon. Collected uh, the cards, trading cards, and this was all I ever wanted. This is all I ever wanted. I wanted them to make a x-men movie i remember wizard magazine would do the fan castings and it was just so cool to like theorize who should play who um and then this this happened and then i i got to see i got to see x-men on the big screen I, th I think i only saw it twice in the theater though i didn't like go multiple multiple times i was you know i guess i was in high school 
so I'm surprised I didn't see it more. But yeah, this uh, it it was just it was everything I I wanted, you know. And I liked that they took them seriously. It wasn't like silly. I mean, it's silly, but in a like grounded sort of way. Um, obviously, it could have been better, but you know we didn't really know what we were doing at this time, right? We had the Tim Burton and Schumacher Batman, and then we had the Donner Superman, you know, I guess to look back on. Uh, but this was new territory here. We weren't dealing with gods the same way. Well, I mean, is, is Bruce Wayne a god? I mean, he's just a, a rich guy, but you know what I mean. This is different here. Um, and yeah, absolutely love, love this movie still. Um, it, it's extremely important to me. Next, we have Soul Surfer, which I've never taken out of the plastic here, but I have seen this movie. I was on a flight from Toronto to Vancouver. Is that right? I was on Alaskan Airlines somewhere in Canada. Maybe it was Vancouver to... Maybe it was St. Louis to Vancouver. Maybe that's what it was. Um, but... This was like the first time I was on a plane where I could watch a movie, right? Because normally I fly Southwest. And Southwest, you know, everything's the same. That, like, that's, you know, that way they don't, like, the, the mechanics know how to do everything. Like, like they don't have to memorize, like, different types of jets or whatever. Southwest, they just they just have the one plane, right? So, um, these this Canadian, was it Canadian or Alaskan? Now I can't remember. I think it was on Canadian Airlines. I don't know. But they had TVs, and they had like a touch screen where you could pick to watch something. And what I did, I watched a couple episodes of The Office, and then I watched Soul Surfer. And I remember when she gets her arm bit off by the shark, um, I, like, I, I jumped, and then the person... Was there someone else sitting next to me? Because I feel like there was a stranger that jumped too after I jumped. When it happened, I was like, oh, gosh. And then that happened over there uh, with the person next to me. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a, you know, it was just a nice little film, I guess. You know, I think it's a Christian film. I remember there being a lot of, like, songs in it. Um, maybe like, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High or something like that. Or... Yeah, da da ba da da la, do do da do, or something else. What? Not that one. Um, was it that song? Am I thinking of the right movie? I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, yeah, because Carrie Underwood's in it, and she's like leading worship, and she's like a country singer in real life, but she was like on American Idol. But she's like, come on, what are some other like Christian songs that are you know like worship songs? Like I can't think of them right now. Like, um, uh. <laughs> Why are none of them coming to me? Uh, 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 galaxy, God above, beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy, God of wonders beyond our galaxy. That's it. I think maybe they were singing that song. I can't remember, but I don't know. I thought it was a nice little, nice, you know, cute little film. Okay, so the question is, though, how are we going to rank these? All right, this, I, this is very simple for me. X-Men mean the world to me. District 9 is so cool. And then Soul Surfer is a nice little movie. You know? It's 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 a cute little film there. Um, okay, so yeah, this is this is easy. X-Men, number one for days. And then District 9, great effects, very cool story. Um, um, and then and then Soul Surfer. You know, I saw it on a plane. I saw saw it miles in the sky. Okay, so my question to you is, have you seen these movies? These three right here? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.